If elected, what would you do to help continue to promote job growth and grow Florida's economy? So I can't think of a better place, uh, not only in this country, but in this world to live. And I think one of the things we have to remember is that jobs and corporations should be coming to Florida because of the, the tax structure in the system. It's a low tax state. Uh, we're low on regulations. We've got a world-class education system. And perhaps most importantly, we're a beautiful place to live. So we need to be able to tell and sell the story of Florida. We also need to be willing to talk about what the economy of 2030 looks like. You know, the Florida Chamber tells us that there are going to be 6 million more people living in Florida in 2030, and it's going to require 2 million more jobs. What do those jobs look like? Um, my guess is that many of those jobs don't even exist today. So how are we ensuring through our K-12 system and our higher education system that we are training a workforce that can compete in 2030, not only between counties or between states, but making sure that Florida can compete in a global economy. How would you improve Florida's health care situation? Improving health care, uh, let's, let's be honest, it's, it's not simple. It's complex. There's no silver bullet. Uh, it's going to require a, a comprehensive look at, at every variable that is driving up health care. And, and most importantly, how are we providing um, truly first-rate and world-class health care to our, to our citizens? I, be, I believe it begins with establishing, establishing a value-based model for health care so that healthcare is being paid for based upon outcomes, not just a, a fee-for-service model. I think we need to have a serious look at telemedicine and understanding how that will impact uh, uh, Florida's healthcare system. And, and more importantly, uh, continuing to look at, at external factors that are driving up the cost of healthcare, not only in Florida, but across the country. What challenges do you see in Florida's K-12 through education system? And if elected, what would you do to address those challenges? So, so Florida has made incredible gains in public school education. Uh, the most recent NAEP scores, which is sort of the, the, the report card for public education in, in, in America, speaks to the fact that we have made significant progress as a state. But we can't lull ourselves into a sense of, of, of complacency, thinking that we've achieved sort of the promised land. You know, we still have one in every five students not graduating from high school in Florida. If you look at the Florida scorecard, uh, it's very clear that that, that, that is a problem. We have almost half of our public school sophomores not reading at grade level. We have a third of our children going into kindergarten not ready to be there. So there are still serious challenges that are facing Florida's K-12 and, uh, and higher education system. I believe that it begins with establishing a strong foundation in children through high quality early education, improving Florida's VPK system, making sure that programs are funded adequately, but more importantly that we are holding programs accountable and that we have real assessment models to make sure that there are outcomes for children. In the K-12 system, making sure that parents have the fullest choice in identifying the school that is right for their children. And Florida and my community, Miami-Dade County, has been a, really a, a, a national leader in making sure that parents have choice uh, in their educational options. And, and finally, expanding trade and vocational schools. And again, making sure that, that we are preparing students for that 2030 workforce and understanding that those jobs that may not exist today that it's our responsibility now to make sure that the students in the pipeline are going to be prepared uh, to enter once they, once they graduate.